Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will learn how to model a steel structure into our system. Let's say that we have a steel frame in this place over point A03 with column going in this direction and the main girder and another column going there. We can model this steel structure by going to insert. First, we'll go to beam section properties because we need to define our beam section. You can either select a non-standard and this way you can enter the shape of your beam is it a channel, that shape, teeth, whatever shape and whatever depth, width, web thickness, slash thickness, all of this you can add here or you can go to standard saying now that all non-standard section data will be lost it's okay, yes and you can select a standard section it will open for you this library of autopipe. You will go to W shape and you will scroll between all of these predefined sections. Let's say, for example, we are going to select the W30 391. Okay. And now you can see that all of these data are automatically filled regarding the depth and the width. And the web thickness, flange thickness, all of that, you will see. Okay. And now we will start modeling. We'll go to insert beam. This is the beam, beam ID. Let's call it beam. Only uh, three letters are, are allowed, so let's just keep it M. One, we will go to first point. First point here is selecting A03, but we don't want the beam to be uh, exactly connecting with our pipeline, so it will not. Our first point will not be A03, but we will keep it, for example, M01. Once you press M01. Now you have to insert, oh, sorry, we need to insert the name of the second point, M02 also. Now we need to insert the coordinate of M01, because it is not a predefined point in our system. So, and this already uh, filled data are the coordinates for A03. So this is the coordinates of A03, and let's say that we want to draw our uh, beam, start around five meters above above our pipeline so only z direction would be changing from zero to be five thousand and the other segment of the of the beam it will move in x direction with another five meter so it's negative five thousand uh, this uh, data here are the offset between m02 and m01 so after modeling M01, now we need to go with offset of minus 5000 millimeter only in the X direction. And the section ID is the W3391, which we have already predefined. Okay, now you can see this pipe section. We will keep repeating the same. Now we will go from point M01, which is a predefined point, till M03, M03 will be in the other direction with 5000 millimeter, so this will be it. Another beam going from point M02 this time. Once you press M02, it will take automatically the values of M02 because it is a predefined point. And it will go to M04, which is a new point. And the only offset will be in Z direction. Let's say 10,000 in the vertical direction. Okay, and here it is. In the other direction, we will insert another beam. The beam will start from point M03 till M04. 
5 because now we have a medium 4 already and the values will be again minus 10,000 in the vertical direction minus 10 meters and we press OK now you have your steel structure model in your, in your system and you need to just select these two points you will press control and medium 5 and we go and select this point you can see now that both points are highlighted in red you go to insert anchor and you will insert a rigid anchor and now you have your steel structure model and fix it in your piping system and that's it for our video today so thank you